Howdy guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be reviewing this new Harbor Freight 3-ton low-profile long-reach jack versus the 3-ton low-profile jack, the regular one versus the long-reach. I got a 92 Camaro and it's lowered decently low. It's not super duper low, but it's pretty low. Low enough to where this regular low-profile jack will not get under. The rear I can get under because there's that, I can get under there, but the front both sides of the wheel are really low to the ground or both sides of the body are really low to the ground on both sides of the wheel sorry so in order to reach my front subframe and jack the car up i needed something a little bit longer now i haven't tried this yet i was about to try it and jack it up i was like well let's test these out and see um, if this long reach one is the jack that i need a little bit late after already buying it but you know We'll see if I made a good purchase. First, let's talk about the specs of them. They're both three ton. They have this soft rubberized, whatever that's called. Sorry, I'm not a jack expert. Um, and then let's look at reach. It looks to be six, seven inches longer. It's a decent amount. And then the side profile here, let's see how different that is. It's pretty similar. This regular low profile looks like it gets uh, shorter in the front here which I believe, yeah, it does. But the long reach one is just that much longer. The long reach one also has a longer handle as well. Um, and it has this function, which I probably really won't never use, but let me show you. Basically this like foot jack here. And when you use that with your foot operated, it goes at a higher pace up. Um, so if you have something higher off the ground, if you want to get it up to that jacking point quick, um, you can, but it's not going to keep jacking the car with your foot with just that. You need a lot more leverage. This is why you have the handle. All right, now let's look at the height difference. Um, the extended reach one definitely goes higher. I'd say it's probably six, seven inches higher. How often will you use it like that? I don't know. Me, not very often. You can tell this one's the old crusted and disgusted, busted and used up three times. This thing has spray paint all over it. The rubber pads all jacked up and I haven't really used this one at all. I use it one time, but not in a low profile situation, just a situation where I needed two jacks. Let's let this one down. Okay, now for the test, let's see if we can get this up under my subframe from the side. Okay, so for reference, here's the subframe I need to be under to jack. First, I'm gonna show you the regular low profile one. And it's not quite reaching the subframe here. Okay, now let's try the extended reach. All right, let's see if we can get a jack on it. Let's see, jacking point. Yep, look at that, right on it. Camera under here. Okay, so as you can see now, we're on the subframe, and this is the long reach one. So this is exactly the jack I needed. All right, guys, I'm just making this video because I was looking for reviews on the long reach jack. I didn't see a lot, and I wanted to directly compare it to the regular low profile one. They're both low prof profile. They're both low prof. They're both low profile, um, but only one of them is the long reach, and I just couldn't find anything comparing the two, so I decided to make a video about it. So if this was helpful to you, hit the thumbs up button. Um, any questions you have, throw them in the comments down below. I can help you out. There's probably something I missed about the jack. If you have a third gen Camaro, mine's lowered on Eibach Sport Light Springs, so yours should be of similar height. So if you need a jack, this would work for you if you have a third gen Camaro. Um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.